Hello, Hateless Gaming here, bringing you another Anomic Agent Guide. Today we have an updated version of doing the Blood Raiders burn, something that I haven't touched in quite a while and I feel like needs a little bit of attention. And with the Assault Frigate balance changes coming up, this may be obsolete in a couple weeks. But anyways, for the Blood Raiders burner, he is pretty deadly. He he does a lot of E-War. Uh, his E-War is, is Cap Warfare, so... We, we need to deal with that. He orbits close and does EM thermal damage. Uh, so our ship, uh, our, our ship that we're going to bring today is going to be the wolf. All right, for this wolf fit, we've got uh, four 200 millimeter auto cannons. We got a Metasys adjuster two and a small capacitor control circuit, a sensor battery, a stasis webifier, a, a small Armor Repper, a, a Senti A-Type or a Corpy A-Type, whichever is cheapest for you. You need the 30 HP a second rep rate. We got two gyro stabilizers. They are shiny, but we need that to fit in CPU. A micro Auxiliary Power Core. And a, a Corellium A-Type Energized Thermal Membrane. Uh, this brings our resist to 9085, which is necessary to survive. Because he does EM thermal damage. And the reason we're using the Wolf is because it has massive bonuses to the guns and its base armor resists are really high for what we want to tank that's why it, it makes a good ship uh where super cap stable it does about 20 gigajoules of cap pressure we got a sensor cap battery which gives us e-war resistance uh, minus 25 percent and then plus the 15 uh, gigajoules a second that keeps us stable even though we get neutered to high health uh, as you can see, the fits listed here. I'll also have it in the description. Uh, for the fight, it's act. Or wait, I forgot to do skills. I forgot to do skills. Anyways, uh, for skills, what you're gonna need is assault assault frigates to four or higher, uh, which I'm currently training to five. And then we need Mimitar frigate to five to be able to fly the wolf. The engineering skills are the requirements for engineering skills are really high. You're gonna have to have advanced weapon upgrades five. You're gonna have to have capacitor management and capacitor systems operations to five. You're gonna have to have power grid management to five, electronics up, no, it's not electronics upgrades, weapon upgrades to five, thermodynamics is not that important, and CPU management to five. You're gonna need all the fitting skills to five to be able to fit this. As you see, I have them all to five in the fitting window that was extremely tight. For armor skills, you're gonna need thermal armor compensation to at least three uh four is even better because if you have it high enough you can run the hardener or you get the extra resist in the thermal which is what we use and repair systems five uh, are both the really important ones and then in gunnery you're going to want your support skills to four or five and uh a small or is it projectile turret special small auto cannon specialization it's somewhere in here at least to three if you get that up to four or five, this mission will be a lot easier for you. And then in rigging, we're going to want, where is it, projectile turret rigging to three or four to be able to fit this ship. Uh, if you don't have the fitting skills, you can run a Geno, uh, a Geno set, and that'll give you a, a extra power grid, extra CPU, and extra capacitor, which will make this fit a lot easier to run with lower skills. Uh, without further ado, I got the fight. It's really easy. Uh, we're going to set our default keep out range to 100. This keeps our traversal down. It does increase his DPS on us, but it also increases our DPS on him. Uh, this this fit is tedious. Or not this, this fit, but this fight is tedious. The thing has a lot of health. I think it has somewhere around 15,000 health. It's a little ridiculous. So, all we're going to do is we're going to lock him up. Keep at range. Turn on our repper. Web him, hit F1, and walk away. Uh, this is it. This is all we do. Uh, if if you're fitting as well, and you have the proper skills, and you fit properly, this guy will just eventually die. Uh, I forgot to mention that we use hail ammo. Uh, yeah. Uh, if, if you can't use hail ammo, or don't want to use hail ammo, Republic Fleet is your other option. And I'm just going to fast forward through the rest of this. And I'll see you guys when it's done.
Okay, now he's in the hole. He's going to die pretty quick. We can start overheating to finish him off. Uh, that was quite the wait. Uh, unfortunately, this guy has a crap ton of health. If we do kill him at about this speed and only have to go two jumps to kill him, he's still very worth doing, even though it takes so long, simply because he pays so much. But uh, that's all I really have for you guys today. Eh, eh, eh. That's all I really have for you guys today. Everybody fly safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Everybody have a good one.